Well, welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to Star Navigation Systems Group's channel, a flight sciences company, and to uh, kind of expand on the subject here, get a little bit of background and deep dive into the company itself. We got Anoop, the chief executive officer who's joining us today. So first and foremost, welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. A pleasure to get you on. So first and foremost, just for newer audiences, newer investors, Star Navigation focuses on providing aerospace solutions with kind of har hardware and software that assists aviation operators worldwide. So for those newer audiences, give us a brief elevator pitch to the company. An elevator pitch? Okay, I'll try my hardest. Um, so Star Navigation provides an innovative real-time aircraft health and monitoring solution. We do that by proactively analyzing aircraft data in flight in real time. Uh, so this gives the ability to continuously scan the avionics of an aircraft, check the different sensors, the computer systems on board, and send critical parameters, alerts, any exceedances that might be on an aircraft through Iridium satellites. And we do this in real time. So this helps the aviation industry with proactive safety and engine health monitoring. We have a complete ecosystem of hardware and software solutions. So we actually manufacture, design, all the avionics hardware that gets installed on an aircraft. We are Transport Canada approved. And that is probably one of the biggest value propositions that we currently have because a lot of the companies are experts in the software side, but we have the complete ecosystem of hardware, which is able to get the data, able to analyze it in flight, which we call edge computing, and be able to transmit that data to the ground in real time. So on the ground, we can start building trends we can start looking at anomalies, we can start looking at patterns, and that's where the world of artificial intelligence, machine learning comes in, um, and that's what we basically do. Uh, looks like you are at your floor, so while I still have your attention, what I want to tell you about is that we're publicly traded on the Canadian Stock Exchange under SNA.CN. Uh, we've been public for almost 20 years now. Uh, we were partnered with one of the biggest aviation airplane manufacturers, um, right now, uh, we are running solo, but it's our time to shine. Now, this is very technical. When we come back, I want to really kind of deep dive down into this with your investor presentation. But I want to roll back a little bit. I mean, you graduated as a mechanical engineer from the University of Calgary uh, in 2009, mm -hmm. have over six uh, years of engineering and uh, project management experience in the oil and gas sector, founded and ran multiple startup business operations. You kind of got into the uh, the real estate market a little bit, and now you're kind of developing multifamily apartment projects. <laughs> you were into photography. I mean, even recently graduated the uh, Halt International Business School in uh, Europe there in London. But after achieving an MBA degree uh, with distinction there, so kind of just, this is a lot. So framework, what led up to that aha moment that kind of got you involved with Star Navigation? Absolutely. So it was my passion for airplanes. That's probably the main reason why I got into mechanical engineering back in 2009. That's when I got introduced to Star Navigation um, by my uncle. And I was just fascinated by the tech um, it basically talked about replacing the black box. It talked about the, being the world's first in-flight safety monitoring system. And at that time, it had just partnered with one of the biggest aviation manufacturers. Um, yeah. It was a prime time. I was super passionate about it. Um, applied all my engineering knowledge to figure out how can this technology really benefit the aviation industry. Um, long story short, I became a board of director uh, three years ago and have just been using all my different skill sets from design, photography, project management, it's all coming together in this role now because it allows me to identify problems. It helps me break down into suitable solutions. It helps me develop a plan and then tell the story to others so that I can all align everybody towards a common goal. And most importantly, manage that execution. So I think um, all my skill sets, all my different experiences, even though they're very vast and varied, they've all come together for this critical moment for to help me lead Star Navigation to be a world-class company. Definitely appreciate those insights. And I kind of want to expand a little farther on that with who's kind of helping you uh, lead or uh, pilot this ship, so to speak. Do you want to just kind of give an introduction to your team? Uh, for sure. We have probably the most passionate, loyal, and persistent um, staff. We have engineers who have been with the company for almost 18 years. We have our um, investor relations sales who have been with this company since the original founding of it. We have everybody from engineering, sales, business development. Uh, we have external consultants who are helping us on the IR side, corporate development side, and uh, most importantly, the board of directors who are leading this company from the top. And uh, what is probably the most grateful 
um, appreciation to keep star where it is today is uh, the core shareholders who have kept this company afloat, believed in the technology, and all of us together working as a team to make sure that star is going to be shining in the next future here. Well, on that note, I'm going to pass the question off to the viewers. We'd love to know what you think in that comment section below. Consider subscribing because as news comes down the wire, we're going to continue to update you here. But on the note, as always, we look forward to catching you in the next one. Uh -huh.